Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing Victoria Beckham's new concealer pen. This is in collaboration with Augustina's Bader, and I'm really excited for this because of the skincare ingredients that aren't in here. If you know, then you know Augustina's Bader is known for his skincare products, um, products that are really good for your skin, good for fine lines and wrinkles, also puffiness, dark under eyes, and this concealer, claims to do all of that and more. Apparently, the more that you use, the less that you'll want to use later on. And all of the claims really caught my eyes. I have not tried a Victoria Beckham product thus far that I've absolutely hated. I've actually liked most of her products and Actually, some of them are staples in my collection, like the Cole eyeliners. I cannot live without those. Those are the only pencil eyeliners that I purchase now. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. This concealer pen retails for $68, and really, there's not a lot of product in here. So it does contain 2.4 mils of product, or 0.08 fluid ounces. And just for comparison, the Dior Forever Skin Correct contains 11 mils of product, and then the Chanel contains, let's see, 0.26 ounces of product. So a lot more product in both of these than you get in this little pen here. So it's really too expensive. So just for that, I feel like we should definitely be having more product in here. Now there are various shades. I purchased shade LM2, and this is just by kind of looking at the shade range online and pretty much guessing. So I hope this is going to be a good shade for me. I usually like to go a little bit lighter underneath my eye just to brighten, uh, but other than that, let's check this out. So it comes like so. All of Victoria Beckham's products are such luxury products. So when you hold them in your hand, you just feel that luxury feel. So you know you are getting a good product. And this concealer pen definitely feels that way as well. So let's see. So this does have a little brush. Normally, I am not a fan of concealer brushes like this, just because I feel like they get messy. Um, but let's see, maybe this one won't. I'm going to go ahead and give this a couple of clicks. This is new. I have not tried this yet. I don't want to drop any of this. All right, nothing's coming out yet. Ooh, there we go. There is the product. I think this is going to be a good match. So just where I normally get some darkness, I actually do like the fact that this is like a pen. It has a tiny brush, so you can really get into wherever you need. And surprisingly, it feels like you don't need a lot of product. I'm not sure what kind of coverage this has, so we will find out. So just clicking one more time. Usually I tend to get the darkness right in here. I'm going to start off with a concealer brush and just pat this in. Ooh, this actually has really good coverage. I am surprised. I thought this might be light coverage, but it is not. Yeah, I definitely wish I did purchase a lighter shade just because I feel like this is a little too dark for me. But it is a good match, but like I said, I tend to like to go a little bit lighter when it comes to concealer. This has beautiful coverage though. I feel like this looks really nice. No creasing, thus far at least. And it just looks dewy. It's not drying in any way, as you can see that glow. And it feels nice and lightweight, yet it is very good coverage. I don't feel like I need a lot more, but I am going to apply just a little bit here on the side of my nose. And then just around my smile lines here, and I'm just going to use my finger to blend that in. This feels so creamy and 
luxurious and it really is not sitting into any fine lines. You know how sometimes you get a concealer and it just starts creasing on you right away. This one is not at all. Looking really good. I don't feel like I need any more and I feel like this is pretty high coverage. So at least that's a good thing because given that we don't get a lot of product in here, it doesn't seem like you're going to need to use as much. But I think I'm good. I am not going to set this today just because I do want to see how this wears throughout the day. And But normally I would set my concealer. But with this one, because I'm using it for the first time, I'm just going to leave it as is and see how it kind of settles on my skin. All right, let's go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. I feel like I've been filming a lot of colorful looks on my channel lately. So for today, I just really want to do a very fall type of sultry look. So I do have another product by Victoria Beckham that I purchased with my order. But first, I am going to go ahead and just do my eyebrows just a little bit. I have purchased Victoria Beckham's new products. I actually have been using this now for, since it was released, I think like a month or two. Um, I think this was released in August, but she just released a feather fix and the brush is so cool. It looks really different than most eyebrow brushes. As you can see, it has like a, a roundish end and then the bristles are so nice and long. I really have been loving this product. I just feel like it makes it so easy to get into the hairs and just really brush them out. So, And this one does have a tint to it. She also does have these in just a regular clear. As you can see, it really gets into my eyebrows and I have pretty thick natural eyebrows. So this is great. And I feel like I would probably go back and get the clear one as well. Sometimes I don't want any color. I just kind of want to brush out my eyebrows. The Feather Fix is in medium brunette. And then I also have her eyebrow pencil. This is the Baby Blade in medium brown. Also love this product. I just love how creamy her products are. And a lot of eyebrow products usually are very stiff. This one isn't like that at all. I just use this in areas where I feel like... I need just a little bit of help. Today I am going to use this eyeshadow pot. This one is in shade T Rose and this is uh, Victoria Beckham's Lid Luster. Such a beautiful shade. Let me just swatch it. This is not new. It's been out for a while, but it's so gorgeous and it's perfect for the fall season. With this, the easiest way to use it is just to use it with your fingers and just apply it all over my lid. This gives the most beautiful shade and it's just so easy to use. Next, I'm using the Satin Kajel Eyeliner in shade Coco. This is my absolute favorite shade and eyeliner as a whole. I've used this so much and usually I wait during the holiday season. Victoria Beckham always has a really good sale and I stock up on these because again, they are my absolute favorite. They're just so creamy, easy to use and once they dry, they are and set. This is pretty much what I do daily. And this is my eyeliner look. Uh, that I usually go for all the time. See how easy it is to just create a winged liner using this. And the shade in Coco is just perfect. These smudge so beautifully. I just absolutely love them. Sometimes I kind of just smudge it on my eyelid and then smudge it with my finger and it looks so good. And then just going down below. And then I give it a good smudge. They are so easy and creamy. So that's the eyeliner. Now for some mascara and I am using Victoria Beckham's. This one is the Future Lash. Now this one isn't my all time favorite. I know she has a new one that she recently came out with but we're just gonna go with this one. This gives very natural looking lashes. There's 
have my eyes all done a very easy type of fall look and the concealer is still holding up great still looking glowy it is not creasing at all so looking pretty good thus far now for cheeks now with my order i did purchase a cheeky posh this is also by victoria beckham and it is in shade fame i really wanted a cream blush that's fit for the fall season and something that will go with this look and look at how beautiful the shade is this is not brand new and here's a swatch of the blush it looks so good and i think this is going to be the perfect fall shade i'm not applying any bronzer today so it's just going to be blush yes love the shade oh it looks so good this shade looks beautiful and I love that you can build these up. I love how this sinks into the skin and looks really beautiful, really love these. I guess I could use this on my lips as well, but for today, I do want to put this Bitten Lip Tint on. This one is in shade Cherie and I absolutely love this. Now, if you use this for consecutive days, it will chop your lips, but on occasions, this is beautiful and it lasts all day. It just leaves the perfect tint. This looks so nice and seamless on the lips. When you're up close to someone that has this lip tint, it almost seems like they don't have anything on, yet their lips are so flushed. It almost looks like it is naturally flushed that way. So usually I let this dry down a little bit and then I apply another coat if I want the shade to be a little bit more intense. My cat decided to join me today. Hi, Coco. What's wrong, little girl? You want to be on camera, huh? Yeah? So that is the finished look today. The concealer is holding up very well. It still looks very dewy. And I have really dry skin, particularly underneath my eyes. They tend to dry out, especially towards the end of the day. But as you can see, very dewy. Now I did not set this. Of course, if I set it, it's going to give me more of a matte type of look. But as I mentioned, I just really want to see how this concealer works. And because it does have skincare ingredients, I guess that's where that dewiness is coming from. I still don't see any creasing at all it kind of looks natural in a way like I don't have any concealer on and really glowy so if you don't like glowy concealers then you probably won't like this then again set it and you probably will be okay but this is most likely the skincare ingredients that's in the product just giving that moisture type of effect which i love because i really have dry skin I'm really curious to see how this holds up throughout the day so i think i am going to do a few touch points throughout the day just to let you know how this concealer holds up i feel like it's too good to be true most concealers usually do crease on me at least usually around the four hour mark so let's see let's see how this one works out i'll do a couple of touch points throughout the day all right just wanted to go outside and show you what the concealer looks like in natural sunlight it's such a nice day outside but the concealer is holding up really great i've had it on now for a couple of hours and it doesn't look like I have any concealer on. To be honest, it looks like it is a moisturizer, a tinted moisturizer underneath my eye. And it just looks seamless with my skin. No creasing, looks very natural, still pretty dewy. So I probably would set this concealer just to give me that matte type of look. Um, no pores, it just looks really nice more like an everyday type of concealer look even though it does have pretty good coverage but this is what it looks like and i've had it on now for i would say about three hours or so 
So I'm just gonna go about my day and then I'll do a final check-in and let you know my thoughts about this concealer. It is now 4.42 p.m. and I started this video at around 10 a.m. this morning. So I've had this concealer on for close to seven hours, almost seven hours. And let me tell you, it has not budged. So the glow has gone down just a little bit, but otherwise my under eye feels very moisturized and I'm so excited for that. I have really dry skin, especially during the winter time. My under eye tends to get very dry, even when I have nothing underneath my eye. So I am really pleasantly surprised that this did not crease. I do wish that they gave us more product in here for $68, only receiving 2.4 mils. That's not very much at all, especially if you are going to use this daily, then I feel like you're going to run out fairly quickly. I know I did not use that much today, so I am curious to find out how long this is going to last me, especially if I start using it daily. And I think I am just because of how much moisture it gave my under eye. And with the winter season, coming up I feel like this might be a staple in my collection but we'll see I will let you guys know how I like this throughout the winter season um, so definitely come back to this video in a couple of months I will leave a comment below um, and let you know what I think and if I still am liking this product I was going to wait a little bit longer to give you my final thoughts but I felt like after close to seven hours with it looking the way it is right now not budging no creasing I honestly have not seen a concealer like like this usually I get just a little bit of creasing and if anything a little bit of dryness patchiness underneath my eye with this one I'm not seeing anything at all I mean I'm pretty close to the camera and you can still see a little bit of glow even I rarely ever get that with a concealer I really love concealer because I do have darkness underneath my eye. So I just tend to look a little bit tired without anything underneath. But the problem is that they always crease on me, especially at the end of the day. I work long hours um, during the day and towards the end, I kind of tend to get creepy looking under eyes, but I'm excited for this. I like the fact that it has skincare ingredients in here. So other than the fact that not a lot of product, I probably will run out really quickly. Whether or not I will repurchase it, I don't know, um, but we'll see. According to Victoria Beckham, the more you use this, the less that you'll need to use it. So let's see, I will let you guys know though. That is it for my review today for Victoria Beckham's new concealer pen. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope it was informative for you, especially if you were wondering about this product and whether or not it's going to work for you. Please do be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I am very close to hitting that 10,000 subscriber mark and I hope that you will join my YouTube family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.